Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Father God, we give you praise tonight. We give you glory, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to your mighty name, oh God. Father, we stand in awe of you tonight. Good night, everybody. God bless you as you're coming into the room. Just begin to hit the share button. Just begin to come into the room with a heart ready to worship, with a heart bent on praising God. For without God, we're absolutely nothing. He's a shield about us. He is our glory. Hallelujah. And the lifter up of our heads. Let's begin to magnify the Lord. Let's begin to exalt him. Thank him today for all he is in our lives. He is our awesome wonder. He is our mighty God. He is our righteous ruler and creator. He is our father. He is the love of our life. Amen. He is the keeper of everything we've committed unto him against that day. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. As you're coming in, just hit the share button. Hallelujah. There is a word from the Lord. Somebody begin to bless God tonight. Somebody begin to give God thanks tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we honor you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we magnify your name. We give you glory, Lord. We bless your name, oh God. You are mighty God. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Anybody have a heart to worship tonight? Anybody have a heart to just render unto God what is due him? Amen. Giving God your praise. Come and believe in God for your miracle tonight. Come in the room. Believing God for victory over your family, victory over your body, victory over your homes, over your marriages. Hallelujah. Come and believe in God because there's absolutely nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah. We worship you, O oh Lord. We exalt you, mighty God, mighty God. Oh, how we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I bless God for all of you tonight that have taken time out of your busy schedules tonight. Amen. To stop on by. Amen. And to share with us a moment in God's presence. God bless you. God bless you. Minister Nikki Faber Smith. Hi, yes, my daughter Brianna Simonet. God bless you, amen. Sister Susan Gant, Natasha Rose, amen. My brother-in-law, all the way from New Jersey, amen. Glory to God. Love you, man of God. That's Justin Simba, amen. He is on the line tonight. Venus Wilson, Sandera Johnson, God bless you. God bless you. Minister Minot, God bless you. Our bishop is watching. Amen. I'm believing God that he will be stepping in the room any minute now. Amen. I bless all of you tonight from Righteous Remnant Ministries International. Amen. On behalf of our bishop, Bishop Brian J. Graham, I say to you, 
Adorn yourself with anticipation and expectancy. There is a word. There is a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Woman of God, Paulette Nesbitt. Amen. Good to have you here. Apostle Denise Johnson. Honor, uh, honor to you, woman of God. Amen. I bless God for your life and ministry. Prophet Patrick Miller. Amen. My divine connection from the Lord God Almighty. Bless God for you tonight, man of God. Good day to you too. Amen, Sister Carly. Tiffany Carly. Love you daily. Amen. Come on in the room, Sister Bernie. You know, Minister Bernie, you know it is time. Whenever we get together, the Lord is about to move. Amen. Minister Yvette Elmas, God bless you. Good to have you with us tonight. Tasha Williams, blessings to you. Samantha Harvey, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus, amen. Pastor Frederick Mitchell, my brother-in-law, amen. He's watching tonight. Bless you, man of God. Deidre Hall, family, I love you, woman of God. Thank you for being on the line tonight. Monk, do right. Thank you for being on the line tonight. Hallelujah. Thank God for all of you who've taken time out of your busy schedules to join us, amen, in the prayer room here at Righteous Remnant Revelated Rhema. There's a rhema with your name on it tonight. There's a rhema with your name on it tonight. I believe that this word is going to help somebody. I believe that this word is going to move mountains out of your life. I believe that, you know, just one word from the Lord, it will shift everything. I was talking to um, a friend of mine the other day and I told him, I said, I, I heard a word that you were ministering and that word brought a shift in my situation. Sometimes all we need is a word. As you're coming in the room, hit the share button. Hallelujah. Let's invite somebody else. Amen. It's like bringing somebody on down to the church with you. Invite somebody else to come on into this room and to hear this word tonight. And it was that one word that shifted me. Let's believe God tonight that the word that is about to come forth, it will shift everything that is challenging you. It will shift everything that is adversarial to your life. It will bring a shift that will cause victory, hallelujah, to come over you, hallelujah. We're about to go into prayer, amen, in just a few minutes, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, glory be to God. I'm just going to wait a few more minutes. And see if the bishop is going to make his way all the way down here. Amen. To the, to the prayer room. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says one could set a thousand to flight. Two could set ten thousand demons to flight. We're about to set some principalities to flight. We're about to challenge the demonic affluences and the satanic influences that have come up against you. My beloved, Minister Verily Dextera Camp Lamb. Amen. Good to have you on the line tonight. Love you, love you, woman of God, all the way from Florida. Amen. Mr. Wallace Roll, God bless you. All the way from the 242, giving a shout out to those in my hometown, in my home country. There's no place on earth like the Bahamas. Amen. I bless God for all of you and them. I love you all. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. The spirit of sweet slumber came upon me. Amen. Thank God for Prophet Joshua, who decided, Mommy, it's almost time. God bless you. Amen. God bless him. Amen. Because sweet slumber came upon me. And I give God thanks. And now the bishop has joined us in the prayer room. We're about to shake the heavens. We're about to shake the heavens. That the presence of the Lord, amen, can come down. Thank you for joining us tonight, Bishop. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's blessings, here. Blessings, everyone. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Amen. We will I receive my blessings. Amen. The Bible says we ought to bless and curse not. So let's get ready to get into the presence of the Lord. As you're coming in, just hit that share button one time. And let's just begin to bless God for his faithfulness. Yes. Let's begin to glorify him. Hallelujah. Let's set our hearts right for prayer. Yes, the Bible Lord. says that men are always to pray and not to faint. Yes, it's time Lord. to pray. Glory be to God. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord God. He is our rock. He is our savior. He is our love. Amen. He is our preserver. I want you to hold on to that word tonight. Yes. I want you to hold on to that word. Preserve. God is your preserver tonight. Hallelujah. Brother Rocco Wilson, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I had some good times with Brother Rocco back in the Bahamas. Amen. He's a faithful man of God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. He's, he's an awesome man of God. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. 
Let's get into the presence of the Lord. Yes. If you are with your family and you're watching this, just take a moment and hold hands. The Bible says a threefold cord is not easily broken. Come on, let's connect. Let's connect because it's time to pray. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, for, Father God, for your favor tonight. Father God, we've come bringing the body of your people, bringing the host of them, Father God, that are named the children of the Most High God. Father, tonight we've come, Lord God, lifting them up, covering them under the blood of Jesus. Father, tonight we thank you, God, that everything in their life is about to change. God, you said in your word that all things are working together for good to them that love God and who are of the called according to your purpose. Father, you said in your yes, word there is nothing too hard for you. And yes, so, God, tonight we come believing, God, wherever yes, two or three are gathered, yes, touching a ring on anything, God, yes, you promised that name, you would God. be in the midst. Yes. And so, Father God, now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we Jesus. pull down strongholds. Yes. God, we bind principalities. Yes. We come against every diabolical opposing force. Yes. God, that has come against your people in the name of Jesus. Name of Father Jesus. God, right now we address every airway. We address every frequency yes, in the God. realm of the spirit yes, and we Jesus. command it to come into divine alignment with the yes. word of God yes. by the spirit of the living God in yes. the name of Jesus yes. we come against every contrary attempt of the enemy by contrary forces to come up against this word on tonight father yes. Yes, God. We thank you that your power shall prevail. Yes, God, yes. your word says the enemy will fight, but they will not prevail. Yes, and so, God. God, I thank you for giving us an anointing to avail in the realms of the spirit. Uh, yes, God, for Lord. the fervent, effectual prayer of the righteous. Uh, Availeth much. much. You give yes. us the power. Yes. Uh, God, above principalities yes. and all powers yes. and all yes. rulers of darkness must submit to the power and the authority of God that you placed over us. Uh, God, we thank you today, Father, that there is no weapon for yes. Forge, made, devise, strategize, plotted or conspired or even legislated against the people of God that will be able to yes. prosper. Yes. Father God, cause your arm of salvation and deliverance, uh, cause your arm of victory, God, to rest over your people right yes, now. Lord. In the name of in Jesus name Christ, of Jesus. God, we bind up every negative word, every negative communication yes. that yes. has come out of the mouths of people against yes. our lives, against yes. our success. In yes. the name of Jesus, name devil, of Jesus. you are a liar and we bind your works by the power yes. of the blood of Jesus. Father, let the heavens respond. Yes. God, even in this hour, in the name of Jesus. Name Father, of we Jesus. thank you right now for releasing warfaring angels. Yes. Michael and Gabriel, right now, yes. warfaring angels, yes. mighty archangels, yes. sanctioned and commissioned yes. by the voice of Almighty yes. Yahweh Elohim. Lord God, yes. let, them yes. yes. God let them Jesus. begin to war on our behalf. God, let them begin to war and to win. Yes. In right the now. name of in Jesus, name of God, Jesus. we rebuke infirmity right yes, now Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Name we rebuke every form of disease and sickness and pain yes. and discomfort that yes. is that is over your people right now. Right Father now. God, we call forth wholeness. We yes. call forth healing right now in the name of Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus. We praise you, Lord God, right now. Hallelujah. Yes. God, for releasing the bomb in Gilead yes, over God. your people, those that are heartbroken. Yes, God, God, right now we speak, Lord God, deliverance to them. God, right, right now. now in the name of Jesus. Uh, of we Jesus. praise you for salvation uh, yes. over our lives, over our family. Uh, yes. Lord God, if there be anything in us, God, that does not look like you, uh, yes, that God. does not sound like you, uh, yes, God, Jesus. we ask you, God, to deliver us tonight. Uh, yes, set God. us free, Almighty Father. Uh, God, that your power, uh, that your anointing, God, can move through us. Uh, yes. God, like never before, we praise you for divine release. Uh, yes, God, Jesus. let there be prophetic release over your people yes, that will come to pass over them. Uh, yes. God, God, that will bring them to the place of fruition uh, yes. and manifestation. Uh, God, you said if you've spoken it, uh, you will bring it to pass. If you purposed it, uh, yes. God, you will do it. We believe uh, in believe the process God. of the purpose yes, of Jesus. God over our lives tonight. Uh, yes, hallelujah. We praise Lord. you, Father, yes. that our eyes are affixed to the hills. Uh, yes. From whence cometh our help, God, we have an assurance. Uh, yes. God, that all of our help comes alone from you. Uh, God, we will not be moved. Uh, God, we will not be shaken. Uh, Yes, your name the children of Zion glory yes. to God uh, and father we thank you uh, for releasing an anointing uh, God to making to make serving you easy uh, yes, God Jesus. we praise you 
you right now right that our salvation God. will not be challenged, yes, but we will adorn ourselves with strength, yes, with the armor Jesus. of the living God, according to Ephesians 6. Yes, Lord Jesus. God, cause us to be armored with the helmet of salvation, the yes. breastplate of righteousness, yes. our loins are covered, our feet are shod. Our God, we have the shield of faith to quench the fiery dart of the wicked, and yes, above all, Jesus. we yes. represent you by the sword, yes. the sword of the spirit, the double-edged sword of the Lord. Yes, oh God, God, in the name of Ashad and Abakoyim, Ramandera Mashodala Bakora Babasayim. God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we put a hedge of fire, God, yes, God. about your people right now, in the name of the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Oh God, we bind every demonic work, we bind every occultic work, God, and we cast it down, oh God, by the fire of Ashanai, yes. the works of witches and warlocks against us, we call their works nullified right. and void, God, by the fire of the Lord, yes. may they take the fire of the Lord, yes, in Jesus. the name of Jesus name Christ, of Jesus. Lord God, you are our glory, hallelujah, yes. glory and the lifter up of our shine, yes. you're the lifter up of our head, yes. oh God, we praise you for lifting us up uh, above the, uh, our enemies round about us. Uh, God, by this we know you favor us because uh, yes, our Jesus. enemies do not triumph over us. Uh, God, we praise you today. Hallelujah! Uh, that we're in the heart and the mind of God. Uh, the Bible says that we are the apple of your eye. Uh, yes, and Jesus. so, God, we look to you tonight. Uh, oh, Father, we ask you to anoint this word. Hallelujah! Yes, touch it, God. Woo! Hallelujah, the Jesus! Hallelujah, Jesus! Father God, let this word come forth with fire. Yes. Let this word come forth with power. Yes. In the name of Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you right now for the work that you've begun in us, God. You will complete it. Yes, God. Father, we thank you tonight that yokes will be destroyed. Chains and fetters will be forever broken. God, their situations are going to take on new light, new life and change. God, deal with the conditions of their heart. Circumcise the foreskins of their heart. God, take up the hearts of stone. Yes. God, give us hearts of flesh. Yes. God, that you would be able to deal with our hearts. God, yes, that you would be able to commune with us. Between yes. the wings of the cherubims, almighty Father. Yes, Jesus. Woo. Glory to Jesus. Yes, Jesus. God, we call for miracle signs and wonders. God, we call for miracle signs and wonders. Father God, we call for miracle signs and wonders. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, businesses come alive in the name of Jesus. Oh, marriages come alive in the name of Jesus. Family relationships come alive. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you right now. Yes, Jesus. For the power of your word today. Yes, Jesus. God, we're believing you for greater. Greater, God. We're believing you, mighty God, for greater. Yes, God. God, we know only your right hand and holy arm can deliver us victory. Yes. So, Father, we surrender ourselves to you tonight. Yes. We make every sacrifice, God, unto toward heaven tonight. We thank you, God, for causing us to walk in a place of true submission as your people tonight. God, we yield ourselves completely yes, God. Unto, you. unto you. Anybody else on this line tonight, yield it. Yes. Come on, type amen. Come on, yes. type amen. amen. God, we come against backlash and retaliation, yes. scandal and disgrace, and disgrace in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. We are covered and smothered under the blood. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, Glory be to God. God bless you. Amen. Sister Rachel Strawn, I have not seen you in a long time. I love you, mighty woman of God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord God. Yes, God. Yes, my minister Sherry Smith, all the way from Jamaica, along with Minister Novary and Right. Amen. I bless God for those women of God. Amen. That are intercessors. Yes. That are holding up the lines. Yes. Amen. That are Jesus. that are connecting. Amen. Every time I pray, they're praying with me. Yes. Coming in agreement over your life, over yes. your life situations. Yes, Hallelujah. Because we know the Bible says if we don't if we don't go to God, there will be no intervention. Amen. We need God to intervene. 
And so we pray. Glory be to God tonight. As you're coming in the room, hit the share button. We're going to believe God to reach an exponential amount of people because I believe that this word has come in the right time. Amen. To come in a ripe season and it will bring change. Amen. And it will bring the turnaround that yes, you are will. needing, yes. wanting, and desiring in yes, your life. Will. Glory be to God. Glory to God. Glory be to God tonight. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. I'm excited about the move of God. Hallelujah. That is taking place. As people of God, we can't be moved by the challenges we face. The enemy's job is to challenge us every day of the week. And our job is to stand and to believe God. Amen. Amen. No matter what it looks like, yes. our job is to believe God. Yes. No matter how we feel, yes. our job is to believe God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And you know, the word is the foundation of all those who follow the Lord. Yes. And so tonight, I want you to grab your Bibles. Yes. Amen. We're going to go to the book of St. John chapter 17 to 11, starting at verse 17 tonight. Amen. Amen. St. John chapter 11. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. And we're going to believe God for a revelated rhema to yes. spring up out of this word tonight. Yes. We're going to believe God for victory. Hallelujah. Victory. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Brother Roland Mahi, we bless you in yes. the name of the Lord. I believe that's a French language. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, Jesus. Glory be to God tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank God for his goodness. Hallelujah. That's St. John chapter 17. Yes. 11, sorry. Starting at verse 17. Praise yes, God. Yes, yes. So when Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Yes. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to see Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning the loss of their brother. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. And while Mary remained sitting at the house, then Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give to you. And Jesus told her, your brother will rise from the dead. And Martha replied, I know that he will rise from the dead in the resurrection on the last day. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and yes, the life. Yes. Whoever believes in, adheres to, trusts in, relies on me as savior, will live even if he dies. Glory be to God. And everyone who lives and believes in me as Savior will never die. Do you believe this? And she said to him, yes, Lord, I have believed and continue to believe that you are the Christ. You're the Messiah. You're the anointed. You're the son of God. He who was destined and promised to come into the world. And it is for you that the world has waited. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And after she said this, she left and called her sister Mary privately, whispering to her, the teacher is here and is asking for you. And when she heard this, she got up quickly and she went to him. Now, Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. And so when the Jews who were with her in the house, comforting her, saw how quickly Mary got up and left, they followed her, assuming that she was going to the tomb to weep there. And when Mary came to the place where Jesus was and saw him, the Bible says that she fell at his feet and saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And when Jesus saw her sobbing and the Jews who had come with her saw her also sobbing, he was deeply moved in spirit to the point of anger at the sorrow caused by death. And he was troubled, the Bible says. And, and he said, now, where have you laid him? And they said, Lord, come and see. Hallelujah. Everybody knows this verse. Verse 35 says, and Jesus wept. And so the Jews were saying, see how he loved him as a close friend. But some of them said, could not this man who opened the blind man's eyes have kept this man from dying? My God. Mm. My God. Jesus. And could not this man that opened the blind man's eyes, could he not keep this man from dying? Tonight, I want you, someone to type in there, amen, not prevented, but preserved. 
Glory be to God. Many of us have heard, amen, the story of Lazarus. We've heard, we've heard it preached, we've heard it taught, we've heard it dissected, and we've heard the exegesis of the matter. But tonight we're coming from a revelated rhema standpoint. Glory be to God. Not prevented, but preserved. When we look at the word resurrection, I want us to examine that word tonight, resurrection. When we look at it literally, it means to bring back to life. It means to raise up from us from a sleep or from the place of death, from the dead. Amen. And so now we understand that when someone in the natural dies, there is no life in them. Amen. Their spirit has left the body and there is nothing but a core or a shell that is left behind. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so even in the situation with Lazarus, was the Bible records before verse 17 that he was sick mm. and that he had died. Yes. He had had a funeral and they had entombed him. Yes. And so many times in our lives, amen, we, we come to situations, they happen in our lives and things die prematurely. Yes. Many of us has, have faced so much loss in our life. And, and the first perspective that, that Martha had when she saw Jesus, she said, if you were here, my brother would not have died. But then I love her second response, which was from her faith perspective. And she said, but I know whatever you ask the father, father God, he will give it to you. Yes, he will. Mary, he got, Jesus got hit twice. Martha hit him first. Mary hit him a second time with the same statement. Mm. If you were here, yes. my brother would not have died. And many of us have that same mindset when it comes to things that we've suffered loss and situations where we've not seen it happen in our lives. We say, Father, if you were here with me, yes. if you were truly with me, God, this would not have happened. I would not have lost my home. I would not have lost my job. I would not have lost my marriage. I would not have lost my children. I would not have come on somebody. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mary and Martha, they face loss. Jesus. And the Bible records here, if you continue reading on to the last verse, which records this, which is up to verse 44 of the 11th chapter of St. John. It says twice that Jesus groaned. His spirit man began to groan. Mm. Hallelujah. And he was groaning because he was actually the, the resurrection and the life. Verse 25, he says to, he says to, he says to Martha, I am the resurrection yes. and the life. It doesn't matter how long your situation has been entombed by men. You know, when I, when it, when I read the verse and it said that they had rolled a stone over the place where Lazarus' body lay. And the Holy Spirit gave me a revelation. He said, that's just how people, they entomb you. When they see things go wrong in your life, they literally take a stone and they roll it over the door of your situation. And they say, and they stamp over it, irrevivable. Hallelujah. Yeah. There is no irrevivability in the kingdom of God. Why? Yeah. Because we serve the one who is named resurrection yeah. and the life. Tonight, yeah. I want to remind you that God is the resurrection yes, and yes. the life. It may seem, hallelujah. That things did not happen the way you wanted. When we pray in the natural, we pray, we supplicate, we intercede, amen, we petition God. Why? Because we want God to come in from a preventative a perspective. We want preventative measures. We pray because God my relationship is not going right. And so we pray because we want to prevent the falling apart of the relationship. Amen somebody. Amen. Let's talk from a real perspective. When our businesses are not thriving and we're not making the income that we need to pay the bills in our home and our outgoing monies is more than what's coming in. Glory be to God. And we begin to pray because we want God to intervene. We want God to intercept. We want God to yeah. stop the enemy's hand. We, we pray from a preventative perspective. Hallelujah. We want God to prevent. We, we're calling in damage control. That's right. Yes. Holy Ghost. We're call, calling in damage control. We're calling in God from a place of Lord, don't let me lose this. God, don't let me suffer loss. And we yes. begin to pray the word over our situations. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, and then like Lazarus, yes. it dies. Yes. Yes. Glory God. Yes. Good word. Yes. Ramando Bokuria Babasia. Yes. Glory be to God tonight. And, and Jesus grown twice. I want to go back to that. By the Spirit of God tonight through revelated Rhema. Jesus groaned twice, and I believe he groaned the first time because she didn't see that she had the resurrection and the life with her. So it didn't matter what was dead. It was going to spring back to life. He was here now. Yes. It doesn't matter where he was before. He was here now. Yes. I believe he groaned the second time yes. was because the people, amen, did yes. not have the faith to believe, amen, yes. that, God, that God was with them yes. even when he wasn't yet present. Amen. 
We have to believe that God is with us. A amen. Even when it seems like we're all alone in a situation. Yeah. God made us a promise. He said, I will never leave you. Yes. No forsake. He said, I will never forsake you. Yes. He said, I'm with you even unto the end yes. of, the, of the earth. My you got God. to believe that God is with you even yes. unto the end. Yes. We go through all kinds of situations. <clears throat> we face trials and tribulations that is common to every man. And sometimes we suffer a loss. Yes. Some of us suffer loss of money and that devastates us without money. Some people don't know how to function. Can I tell you God is greater than money? Can I yes. tell you God can bless your life above money? Can yes. I tell you that yes. God will move over your yes. life and stop the hand of the enemy? Can I tell you that whatever God purposed to happen in your life, it will happen? Amen. Yes. And God is with you no matter what the situation looks like. Yes. The Bible says, yes. hallelujah, he was informed at the, at the entrance of the tomb. His body stinks by now. He's been in there a little while. And some of you, your situation in this moment, it don't smell too right. It don't look too right. And for you, for your, your, from a heart perspective, it don't feel too right. He said, woman of God, can you feel the burden of the weight of what I am dealing with right now? We were believing God that she wouldn't die. He wouldn't die. We were literally believing God. Amen. I was believing God for a turnaround for my father too. But he passed on to be with the Lord. Yes. What do we do? Amen. When the situation is not prevented, yes. we trust God. trust God. When we don't see the manifestation, when yes. we thought it was going to happen, we trust God. When they preach the word about us being married and being found by Boaz, but Boaz married another. What do we do, woman of God? Oh, come on, somebody. God, we God. trust God. When the love of your life that took you to the altar and said he would be with you, amen, till death do us part, decided, amen, that Susie, Mary, and Cutie had it all going on and decided to leave you right there. Come on, somebody. What do you do? You trust God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The thing about it is, that, and this is what God showed me, everybody was dealing with the weight. They were mourning about the death of Lazarus, but nobody considered Lazarus was the one dead. They didn't die. They were mourning and heavy because of what they had lost. Yes. And some of you, you are mourning and heavy because of what you have lost. Tonight, I want to tell you, stop mourning over what you've lost. Jeez. It's gone. Trust God in this moment. God did not prevent it on purpose. Come on, somebody. Uh, understand now. Let's take it from, from this perspective. Understand, God does not operate in the chronos. We are, we are, you know, that's man-made time. Chronological order, in sequential order. Some of us, even when we pray, that's why we like religious and traditional churches. They do things in a particular order. Order is something that you can flow with because it's chronological. Yes. Step A, you do this. Step B, you do that. No, no, no. But you can't put God in chronos. He does nothing according to the sequence or the chronological order that man makes. Come on, somebody. Speak yes. truth on this line tonight yes. and say glory. Glory. God operates in Kairos. Yes. He, he comes in at the opportune moment to act. Yes. He comes in the moment of action. Yes. And when they're producing and directing movies, nothing happens on that set. Everything is frozen. There is no movement. There is no motion. There is no conversation until you hear the director say, action. Yeah. That's when God steps in your situation. When you hear action. Tonight I release action over you. Amen. Yes. There's some things that have just been stagnant. It's come to the place that it yes. stinks. Amen. Yes. The yes. enemy is trying to revoke everything that God yes. has blessed you with. Yes. But the challenge amen. God is allowing it. Glory to God. Don't stand up. Amen. And, and with your hands in your pockets. Lift your hands up. Yes. Glory Jesus. Whenever the Jews begin to pray, Action. amen, you, they lift yes. their hands up. Yes. Why? Because they're expecting God to intervene. Yes. Hallelujah. The, the, the three Hebrew boys said, listen, even if our God don't come through, we're still going to trust him. We're still going to yes. believe him. We still are not going to bow to you. And that's the kind of resolve that we as saints has to have to have in the, in the body of Christ. Amen. Yes. We have to believe God. Yes. We have to believe God even when it's not going our way. We have to believe God even when things don't look right. We have to believe God, amen, yes. for the victory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, Glory be to God. Mm. Mary and Martha. Mary, Martha was busy about making food for the, for the mourners. The mourners had to eat. Yes. The people coming to visit them, they had to be fed. Yes. And Mary was all in her feelings. Yes. Amen. And that's like some of you, you get lost in your feelings. Come on, somebody. Hit uh, the share button tonight. Uh, 
Something going wrong in your life and you get lost in your feelings. Listen here. Feelings don't move God. Without faith, it is impossible to please Amen. God. Amen. Where's your faith in this? Yes. Mary never found her position of faith. Yes. But Martha did. In the beginning, Martha said, Lord, if you were here, my brother would not have died. But she said, oh, then it kicked in. Faith kicked in right then and there. And she said, but I know whatever you ask the Father God, whatever you ask him, he's going to give it to you. Amen, somebody. Yes. God didn't move in the chronos. He moved in, 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 the, in, the, in the chronos, but he moved in the kairos. Mm -hmm. He moved at the opportune time. Mm -hmm. He's saying, well, this time is not the opportune time because my deadline is past. Can I tell you, God doesn't know time. A day is a thousand years. A thousand years is a day with the Lord. He doesn't know time. Amen. He moves in the opportune kairos. Yes. Can you just step back and allow God to be God over you tonight? Can you just step back and say, Father God, I'm going to trust you even though my situation stink it? Yes. Some of you tonight, your heart is heavy. <clears throat> Some of you literally are facing a loss of a relationship. Yes. Some of you... Get to that place you're saying, if this happens, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, no, 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 no. I come against depression. Oppression name. and suppression over your mind, over yes. your thoughts. Amen. You belong to God. And you have to trust the purpose of God to come to pass over your life. Yes. You have to trust God to move mountains yes. on your behalf. You have to trust God to bring to pass everything that he has purpose. Amen. Yes. Amen. What the enemy meant for bad, God promised. I'm going to turn it around for good. Why? I'm God. Yes. It doesn't matter how the enemy has been fighting you left, right, and center. And you're standing in the place looking at the tomb. Looking at the place where, where your vision once lay. Where your marriage once lay. Amen. Where Amen. your relationships once lay. Where all your money once lay. Come on, somebody. Amen. But if you could get to that place where you can remind yourself that yes. he who is with you is named the resurrection and the life. God is able to cause that thing to spring back up. Come on, somebody. Say Anastasis. Yes. Anastasis. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Anastasis. A-N-A-S-T-A-S-I-S. -S -S. Come on, somebody. That is the word for resurrection. We call the Anastasis of Almighty God over yeah. every situation in your life that has died prematurely. Over every situation in your life, amen, that has come and has, has been seized by the enemy, has been choked out by the enemy, has been, come on somebody, has been illegally overtaken by the enemy. Yes. You have to begin to stand your ground in this hour. And yes. all you need to do is to acknowledge the fact that the one who is named, the resurrection and the life that he is your God. Yes. Anastasis, glory be to God. God is about to turn some things around in your life. I don't care how stink it is. They want to release the promotion. Anastasis. Yes, God. They don't want to release what rightfully belongs to you. Amen. The spirit of the crafty harlot has your marriage under siege, under, under siege. Amen. And the enemy trying to take your spouse from you. Let me tell you something. Anastasis. Come yes. on, somebody. Yes. My marriage is going to live again. Come yes. on. Nah, 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 say it. Yes. Come on, somebody. Your business yes. is under attack and you feel like there is literally a tombstone over the door of your business. Come on. Anastasis. Yes, Jesus. He was named the resurrection and the life. He showed up. Glory yes. be to God. Glory he to God. showed up. He showed up. He showed up. And when he showed up, death had to leave. Uh, Glory be to Glory God. To Can God. I tell you, God is about to yes. show up. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. And everything that died, the spirit of death uh, and the influence of death has to pack its bags and vacate the premises. Why? Yes. What God purpose when God shows up, life springs forward. And what God purpose, he will bring it to pass over you. Yes, he will. I don't care how you feel. I don't care how it looks. It will come to pass. Come on, somebody. Come on, yes. Sister Grayland. I'm believing God with you. Come on, somebody. Yes. Come on, somebody. God will come through for you. Yes. Every demonic spirit standing between you and your breakthrough, I command it to fall off in the yes. name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood. Sometimes we are saints. We have to push back. The enemy pushes us into a corner. Come on, somebody. But we got to push back. Yes. When we look at Jeremiah 32 and 27, what does it say? He said, is there anything too hard for the Lord? No, there is nothing too hard for God. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. There is nothing too hard for God. Yes. Glory be to God. Glory to God. What God wants to take, to take place in you is for you to come to a place of true reliance. Yes. And trusting him. You have to trust God. Yes. No matter how hard it gets, you have to trust God. Yes. No matter what it looks like, you have to trust God. Yes. God wants you in a place believing him yes. beyond the circumstances, believing yes. him beyond what your natural eyes can see. Yes. We are who? We, we what? Believers. And we walk by what? Faith. faith. Not, not by, by sight. sight. Yes. Your eyes will lead you astray. Yes. 
How many times people have gotten arrested because their eyes saw something and their flesh reacted and amen, they broke the law and ended up behind bars. Come on, somebody. You got to be careful uh, uh, about what your eye, you allow your eye gate to, to take in. Glory be to God. Yes. When Jesus showed up, he told them, listen, remove the tombstone because tombstones don't belong in this place. I command the tombstone to be removed. Yes. Pastor Trent Davis, God bless you, man of God. I command every spirit that is entombing your life to yes. be removed yes. in the name of Jesus. Glory be to yes. God. Hallelujah. Bless you, darling. Yes. What God is getting ready to do in your life is beyond the, the attacks of the enemy. You have to believe that the attacks have been purposed by God. You have to believe that even in this, even in this, come on, somebody. Yes. God is here with you, even in this. Mm. And when the breakthrough comes, you won't even remember the weight of the heaviness. <laughs> Just like a woman who is in childbirth, when she's weighed down with those, those pains, those childbirth pains. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says that when the baby, when she's given birth, she doesn't even remember the pain anymore. Mm -mm. Amen. When the pain is over, you won't have any memory of it. It would have passed over. But in this moment, when you have to face, amen, the situation that the enemy has come up against you with, just remember who's with you. Just remember who's never going to leave you. We've had some people promise to stay with us. Amen. But they had, they, they had a different agenda. Praise God. So they moved on to other things. And that's okay. We have to learn to even let people go. Praise God. Jesus. Mary and Martha were in mourning because they loved their brother. Yes. And sometimes we love what we've lost. Yes. But we have to come to a place where we believe God. Sometimes God is testing you. Yes. Sometimes he's testing you. Yes. To see what is in you. The children of Israel had to walk around in the wilderness to be tested of the Lord. To see and try them. See what was in them. God wants to see what you're made of. Come on somebody. Yes. Come on somebody. What, what are you made of tonight? Come on. When the, when the situation gets tough, do you fold up? Do you throw the towel and say, God, this is too much for me. I'm going to just take, take a drink. Come on somebody. I'm going to go hang out with the old crowd. Because at least with the old crowd, I didn't have to worry about trials. Hmm. Come on, somebody. You go hang out with the, and go back and take your seat in the place of mediocrity. I come against that tonight. It's yes. time to go higher. Go higher. I, I will tell you this. You will be yes. challenged, but it's time to go higher. Yes. Somebody hit the share button. Yes. Jesus could have come, sat down in the house, had a meal, and sat down with the mourners. But no, he knew he had an assignment. Yes, he did. The resurrection and the life showed up on assignment. Yes. I'm here to let you know tonight God is about yes. to show up on assignment on yes. your behalf and rebuke yes. death. Yes. Anastasis. It's coming back to life. My God. It's coming back to life. The Lord gave us a release in the last um, Facebook program and told the people, it's time to draw the line. It's time to fast and pray. Can I tell you, God moved so many mountains. Marriages came back together. Yes. Not one, plenty. Yes. I got inboxes. Yes. Woman of God, some people didn't hear from their husband in years. Yes. In the place of divorce, about to get the final stamp and the husband call and say, listen, I made a mistake. I want to come home. Woo! My God. On a three-day fast. When you obey God, listen, let me yes. tell you something. Yes. When you obey God, God will move mountains. Yes, he will. Some people already put the tomb over that marriage and stamp ir irrevoc irrevivability over it. Jesus. Permanently dead. Jesus. But can I tell you with God, nothing is permanently dead because he's resurrection and the life. He will leave, breathe life back into that dead situation yes, and make will. that more vibrant, make that Hallelujah. more beautiful than it has ever been. Somebody give God praise. Yes. Somebody Glory. begin to magnify Hallelujah. the Lord. God is about to make your yes. situation Glory turn God. around for your good. Glory be to God. Yes. Your life is about to get a thousand times better. Yes. Glory God. God made us a promise in the book of Deuteronomy. He I'll make, I'll, I'll make you a thousand times greater than you are right now. My God. Somebody hold on to that word. Yes. It's about to get a thousand times greater. Jesus. And the same gathering that was for mourning. Yes. Turned out to be a gathering for yes. a celebration of life. Somebody praise God yes. for your celebration. Glory be to God. You're about to be celebrated. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes. You're yes. about to be celebrated. Yes. Nobody remembered everybody mourning because Lazarus died, but he was the one who was sick and had to face death. Yes, Jesus. Nobody was happier at the end than Lazarus. Why? Yes. He was he was unwrapped and he was released from darkness into light and life was breathed back into him. I, I think nobody else was happier, amen, than the resurrection and the life had showed up. Yes. He was the happiest one at the party. Yes, he was. 
Some people are celebrating because they think you've lost everything. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Some of y'all, the way y'all been acting, y'all act like y'all done lost your natural mind. Glory be to God. Jesus. But in this season, can I tell you, life is coming back into your situations. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Life is coming back into your situations. Yes. Glory be to God, the power to revive, yes. resuscitate. Come on, somebody. It is coming back to your situations. Yes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whatever you decree, it shall be established. Yes. I challenge you tonight. Open up your mouth and begin to decree what you want unto the Lord. Come on, somebody. Come on, say, I believe God. Somebody type that in there tonight. Say, I believe God. I believe we have to believe God, God no yes. matter what it looks like. Glory yes. be to God. Glory we have to believe God. God. You're about to be celebrated. Yes. Glory God. God is about to change your, your stamp and situation. Come on, somebody. He's about to change the stamp over your life. Jesus. Some people, they like to put stigmas and stamp on, on stamps on people. Hmm. Because you've already been married before. People talking about you. And we break their lips. And we break the teeth and the mouth of the enemy. Right now. Come on somebody. And Jesus. Mind your business. Come on somebody. Yes. yes. Stay out of people's life and happiness. Yes. You upset because you know what? He want to marry you. Come on somebody. Jesus. It's the truth. Amen somebody. When I was getting married, I had a friend who was my one of my best friends. One of my best friends, I worked in the bank at the time, and this woman said she had my back. We used to pray together all the time. Glory be to God. God bless you, Brother Brian Harris. God bless you tonight. Yes. Amen. Yes. Here it is now. Glory be to God. My God, tonight. I, I said to her, I said, well, I'm getting married. Gave her an invitation. She's like, oh, I'm not coming. I, I, I said, what happened to you? All of a sudden, she had an attitude, her face, drop her face, change. Beautiful woman, you know, but she looked like she picked up 10 demons in 10 seconds. <laughs> My God. And she said to me, I'm not coming because I don't understand how God could be giving you a husband. He hasn't given me one yet. Oh, my God. Jesus. I, I mean, I was, I was in shock. But glory be to God, I still celebrated. My heart yes. was hurt. Yes. Because I really loved her. Yes. And I thought she really was to me who she said she was to me. Yes. But I found out, amen, when I really needed her to stand with me, she was nowhere to be found. Yes. And sometimes in life, glory be to God, you're going to look around for some people and they're going to be nowhere to be found. Yes. Just like Lazarus, some of y'all feel like you in that place in the tomb, you all bound up, glory to God. Yes. And there is a, a stone on the, on the door of your opportunity. There's a stone on the door of your victory. There's a stone on the door of your breakthrough. But tonight I command the stone to be rolled away. I command you to come yes. forward right now in the name yes. of Jesus. I command you to breathe again. Yes. I command you to live again, glory be to God, by yes. the Anastasis power of the living God. Yes. Be thou resurrected. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, come back to life. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak life yes. over everything that has died prematurely in your life. Yes, Jesus. Tell the devil, I command your foul, f filthy phalanges of death to be thou removed and cast away. Yes, in the name Into of the Jesus. place of darkness from whence you return. Get yes. away. Yes. In the name of Jesus in Christ. The name of Jesus. Towards of opportunity. Yes. Glory be to God. The enemy want to put stones to entomb you. Hey, Shia. Yes. Devil, you are a liar in the name of Jesus. Lazarus. Yes. Come forth. Yes. Rachel. Come forth. Anna. Come forth. Javina. Come forth. Tiffany. Come forth. Oh, glory be to God. I command you to come forth. Yes, Novarine, come forth. Yes. Andrew, come forth. Yes. Mary, come forth. Yes. Frederick, come forth. Yes. Justin, come forth. Yes. Tara, come forth. Yes. Portia, come forth. Yes. Joshua, come forth. Yes. Winona, come forth. Yes. King Latia, come forth. Yes. Priscilla, come yes. forth. 
in the name of Jesus, yes. I refuse to allow the enemy to entomb your life anymore. Yes. Anastasis, resurrection power yes. of the true and only living God. Yes. Tiffany, come forth. Yes. Octavia, come forth. Yes. Adrian, come forth. Come yes. on, somebody. Yes. Child, come forth. Yes. Come forth. Yes. Come forth. Come forth. Yes. Apostle David come forth. Yes. Jesus Christ. Glory, Woo, glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. 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 God move by your fire. Yeah, God Priscilla Come forth, 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 Come Come forth, I command your prophecy to spring up. Yes. I command life to come to it. Yes. And I command Abashanda yes. Nabahu. He can all the prophecies uh, that you wore a good warfare over. Uh, yes. Chachi Charlene Graham. Uh, yes. Come forth. He shut it about. Hallelujah. Yes. Come forth. Yes. Yeah. Woo! The name Jesus. Of the name. Uh, Bless Wilder Meredith. Uh, yes. Come forth. Uh, yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Somebody hit the share button yeah. because somebody's in a situation yeah. and it stinketh. They need yeah. somebody to call their name yeah. so they can come forth. Yeah. Bernie Forbes, come forth. Yes. Glory to God. You know somebody right now yeah. in a dead and dying and stinking situation. Yes, God. <clears throat> come on, somebody. Yes. Call their name and say, come forth. Yes, come forth. Yes. God has given us all power. Yes. Over all the powers of the yes. enemy. Yes. Somebody begin to call their names yes. and yes. come yes. forth. Call the name of your yes. children. Yes. Let them come forth. Yes. Let yes. them come forth. Deidre Hall. Yes. Come forth. Come forth. Yes. Come forth. Come forth. Yes. Come forth. Come forth. Yes. Come on. Come forth. Come on. Come forth. Yes. Come on. You know some broken people. Yes. Come, come on. Come forth. forth. Yes. They've been going through for too long. Charmaine yes. Williams. Yes. Come forward. He yes. Come on, somebody. Come forth. Yes. You've been in that dying situation. Uh, yeah. For too long, come, 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 uh, come yeah. forth. Uh, yeah. Hear your name in the spirit. Uh, yeah. Hear the angels of the Lord God warring on your behalf. Uh, yeah. Come on, somebody, come forth. In the name of Jesus. My God tonight, yeah. Venus Wilson, it's time for you to come forth. In the Baso Toro Boko Tora Mama Messiah. Yeah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Nikki Favor Smith. Yes. Minister Vernie, it's time for you to come forth. He come a shande. Minister Vernie, you've been sitting on the sideline for too long. Yes. You've been taking too many darts. You've yes. been taking too many arrows. Yes. You've been spread abroad. Yes, yes. Dan Broadheim, come forth. Yes. Daniel Broadheim, Daniel Broadheim, come forth. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sister Amen. Aisha Farquharson, yes. come forth. Pastor Tara, come forth. Yes. In the name of Jesus. <coughs> yes. Come on, Holy Ghost. Yes. Minister Bernie Smith, you've been going through for too long. Hear the Lord say that he's marked the moment. In this hour, you're going to see the turnaround. Glory to God. Yes. Your body is going to take on a new level. God is about to quicken your metabolism. And that weight is going to begin to drop off of you. Amen. People are going to ask you, what are you on? People are going to ask you, what are you taking? Holy Ghost pales. Amen. Holy Ghost is about yes. to quicken your body. Yes. God's yes. He's about to raise you up. There's a great evangelical anointing. God said, go forth and win souls for me, daughter. Yes. He said, the vision that I gave you even when you were 18 years old. And I told you to carry my word. And I told you to preach my word. And yes. I spoke to you even in that back room. As you were kneeling on your knees to me, said the Lord. God said, in the same initial vision that I gave you, God says, I want you to go for it. I can literally see this back room and I can see you on your knees before God. Yeah. God said, that is the place that he met you. That is the place that he gave you mandate. Minister Vernie Smith, glory to God. Even as your face was facing, your face was facing the south. The south. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yes. God said he's about to use you in a great capacity. Yes. The enemy's been challenging you in your, challenging you in your body yes. because he does not want you to achieve what God has named and anointed you to do. But I hear the Lord say money is not going to be a problem. Glory be to God. God say seven days from today, you're going to get a financial release and a financial breakthrough that is going to bring a, a precipice of blessing. It's going to be a dent in everything that the enemy's been trying to do is going to be a high level blessing. Amen, somebody. Amen. 
Come on, somebody begin to give God praise tonight. Yeah. Somebody begin to celebrate the word of God. Chris yeah. Nesbitt, uh, come forward. Paulette Nesbitt, uh, come forward. Sherry Smith, uh, come forward. Come on, somebody. Yes. <clears throat> Glory be to God. Glory to Jesus. Somebody hit the share button. Yes. Because the Holy Ghost is moving on this line tonight. Yes. Glory be to God. Glory Venus God. Wilson, the enemy has been challenging you on every side. But I hear the Lord say that 2018 is your year. This is your year for victory. This is your year for turnaround. Glory be to God. And everything that the enemy stole, God said he's about to cause it to be restored unto you. Amen. Venus Wilson, this is your hour of restoration. Amen. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I see... Everything coming into your mailbox, everything coming into your, your mailbox, yes. mailbox is going to be stuffed with good, goodwill and opportunities. Amen. Strange blessings, uncommon blessings, yes. an uncommon favor is about to overtake your life, Venus Wilson. You're about to see a move of God. You're going to say it only could have been God. Yes. It only can be God. For everything that has been enduring, this could only be the divine intervention of the right hand and the holy arm of my father. Yes, Jesus. Glory to God. <coughs> Glory to your name. Deborah Ingram, the Lord just showed me you in a beautiful white wedding dress. Get ready. Because I hear the Lord say he's about to do a quick work in your life. Yes. A quick work, amen, that many will be jealous of. Yes. Glory be to God. But I hear the Lord say he's about to transform. Listen, and I see you going to live in a, in a home on the western strip of the island, on the western side, on the western strip. God is getting ready to change your status. Glory yes. be to God. New and divine connections are coming into your life. And God says he's about to give you favor. Yes. Bring you into favor and tender love. Amen. Yes, and tender love. Yes, God. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now yes. in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes. This is, I mean, uh, Pastor Dorian Cox. Hear the Lord say, and your prayers. I have not gone in vain. God said he's about to visit your prayers yes. and bring them to pass. Even over your children. Even over your family members. Yes. There's a great and explosive generational release. A blessing that God is about to cause to come over your family. Yes. And I see like a family reunion and everybody getting together. Pastor Dorian Cox, God said he did it before. He's about to do it again. And I see you in a place of counseling. All of a sudden your phone is going to start to ring. Glory be to God. People are going to begin to call you for advice. God says the gift of wisdom. Wisdom that he has given you. Amen. It's now time for you to begin to release at an all time new level. I see young women calling you for, for direction, calling you for godly instruction and for covering. And God said he's about to send an anointing on your life to reach them in places and in situations where nobody else could reach them. Glory be to God. God says to tell you, Pastor Cox, that your life has pleased him and he's about to bring some things that were broken back yes. together. He's yes, about Lord. to bring true restoration in your life, yes. in your family, and in your family finances. Glory be to God. Yes. There is an investment that you made that is about to years and years ago that is about to yield yes. a great dividend. Yes. And God said he will direct you as to what to do when yes. that is that is released in your hands. Glory be to God. My God. This is the season. Yes. This is the season of your increase. Yes. Pastor Cox, you have sown so many seeds in the lives of so many people and you've done it. In secret. Now yes. God is about to reward you yes. openly. Yes. Glory Jesus. I feel God in the room. Yes. Glory My God tonight. My God tonight. Glory be to God. King Stubbs, I bless God for you tonight. Yes. And I cover you in the name of Jesus against yes. every jealous spirit that is surrounding you. Yes. Hallelujah. God has given you in, uh, intuition and he's giving you ingenious ideas. King Stubbs, you're about to come into a business. And this business, something to do with electronics. Amen. Yes. And God is about to bless the work of your hands. And I see you getting someone to help you. Hallelujah. And finances is going to give you a flow. And you're going to be such a blessing to your family. Glory be to God. God is about to set you up like never before. And then I see you transitioning and, and doing like cars and, and buying cars and selling cars. Great opportunities are about to be open to you. King Stubbs, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <coughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tiffany G. Carly, the wait is over. The wait is over. Glory be to God. The wait is over. 
Hallelujah. No one knows the hour, the time, and God will intervene. But God said to tell you tonight, your wait is over. You can give God praise. Amen. Like you already have it in the bank. Like you yes. already got it in position. Because yes. your wait is over. You have reached that mark and that timeline. God is about to renew and restore, yes. rejuvenate, and give you everything that the enemy has put on hold. Come on, somebody. Yes. The enemy has put, pressed a hold button. He left you there. Amen. On hold. But God said tonight, this is the hour of your release and your victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I see a move of God all around you. Hallelujah, yeah. Jesus. God yeah. said, go look for brand new things. Glory be to God. Because what he's bringing in your life, hallelujah, the old has to go. Hallelujah. I see you go to the furniture store. Pick out new, new everything. Because God getting ready to do something great. Glory be to God. Yes. I see you taking a trip very soon. And God say, favor will greet you, meet you, and cover you every phase of that yes. trip. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what God can do. Amen. I needed to go and get some things for my husband. Amen. And I told a friend of mine, I said, I, I need to get it. But by the time my, my flight gets in, I won't be easy. Oh, you won't be able to do it. Don't worry about it. Got it handled. Amen, somebody. Got down there, flew down there to Florida. When I got there, everything was bought. Amen. Tried to reimburse him. I said, mm, no, uh, no. We, we ain't doing that here. Praise God. When every, everywhere we went, amen, the bill was taken care of. Favor. 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 Can I say favor one more time for favor. you? Yes. Amen. Yes. Sister Tiffany G. Carly, favor is about to speak on your life. Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. God is about, you're going to have it in your pocket. You don't going to have to touch it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. But I see God opening up doors for your children, the ones that that are in college. God is about to open up some exponential doors yes. for them. And yes. I see you going to sign some documents, amen? And everything is going to work in their favor. Glory be to God. And I see something else that says extension. Glory be to God. But God is going to give you favor even around that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ yes. of Nazareth. Tasha Williams, stand up right and give God praise right now. Hallelujah. Yes. Because, because yes. what God is about to do in your life is going to cause people around you to begin to celebrate. You're going to be in such a blessed place that you won't have a choice but to be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord say, Say, pen the words that he's about to give you. I see songs springing up out of your spirit. I see God giving you prophetic songs. Amen. Songs for the seasons that are to come. And I see God connecting you to a prophetic house. Praise God. A prophetic ministry with a prophetic flow. Because there's a prophetic anointing that God is about to quicken over your life like never before. And I hear the Lord say that he's about to raise you up and use you as he's never done before. Hallelujah, Jesus. There is going to be an acknowledgement of the anointing yes. on your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. <clears throat> Every dead thing, somebody. Jesus. Every dry thing. Yes. Everything that died prematurely in your life. Everything the enemy stole without permission. Come on, somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. This is your hour. Yes. This is your hour. Congratulations and blessings to you, Sister Beth Kelly. Amen on your recent marital nuptials. Amen. Exchange of nuptials. Your, your beautiful wedding. Amen. I love that. It was wonderful to watch. Praise God. Hallelujah. I bless God for all of you in this place tonight. Some of you on this line tonight, you're about to be married and very quickly. Hallelujah. God is about to give you husbands. Amen. Turn key marriages. All you need to do is move in. Everything is going to be in place. Come on, somebody. Yes. Houses you didn't barely will inhabit. Vineyards you didn't plant, you're going to eat the fruit. Wells you didn't dig, you're going to drink the water. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither to enter the heart of man. Yes. Amen. The Amen. things that God has prepared for those that love him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Begin to give God praise. Glory. <laughs> Tell me on this line tonight, you're about, you're married, yes. you're about to get pregnant. Hallelujah. Jesus. God is going to quicken those wombs in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you have never had the pleasure of giving birth. Amen. They've named you barren. Yes. They said you'll never be able to have a child. But God says you're about to have a baby. You're on this line tonight. God yes. is about to quicken your womb and quicken your husband's sperm. And, you're, and there's going to be a spermatic connection that is going to yield a beautiful, anointed, whole, and lovely baby. Amen, somebody. Somebody hold on to that. Somebody's desiring a baby tonight. Yes. Amen. And God said he's about to do it. He's about to bring it to pass in your life. Yes. No longer will the enemy laugh at you and say, where is your God? Anastasis. The resurrection of the life. He was, he's walking with you. Yes. Glory be to God. Chachi Charlene Graham. I hear the Lord say he's about to shift some things. Even in the midst of your finances. Amen. He's about, to, he's about to cause you to come to a superlative place. I see a breakthrough coming over you like never before. And you've been waiting on something to be sorted. I hear the Lord say within 21 days. It's going to be sorted out. It's going to be fixed. And it's going to be a fixed in your favor. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 
your hands are blessed and you are favored already. And the Lord said, I'm going to send back those people to bless you who should have blessed you in the former season. Amen. They decided that they would do what they wanted to do. When I see a piece of a big piece, a large plot of property or a piece of land coming to you. And yeah, the Lord said, this is your season for expansion. Glory to God. This is your season to come into everything. Amen. That he has promised you. Glory be to God. Hey, amen. And even in the night, even in the night when everybody else is asleep, the Holy Spirit communes with you. God said, this is the hour and the season. He's calling you. He's calling you from the back to the front. Yeah. He's calling you into the kingdom for such a time as this. There is an Esther anointing on your life. Yes, it is. You have, you have favor with people of influence and affluence. Yes. There's an Esther anointing on your life. God wants you in a position in the kingdom. He's going to position you, amen, just as he positioned Esther to bring deliverance, blessing, and uncommon favor, amen, and with people of high, uh, um, high positions. That's what God is going to do in and through your life. Glory to God. Step into your purpose. There is a blessing in it, amen. God bless you. My daughter, Minister Chanel Chosen Taylor, I love you. I cover you under the blood from every attack of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of stagnation that has come against your life, I cancel it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. You're coming out of the old and walking into the new. Isaiah 43 is all over you, Minister Chanel. Amen. God is about to do a new thing. It's about to spring forth speedily. And God say in this season, you're not going to have to question whether it's of God or not. You're going to have a peace in your spirit. You're going to have an assurance. And the Lord said he will show you in a vision. He will show you in the vision. This is who it is. And this is why he's come in the name of yeah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. God said he will show you. Rabba Jonia Turner, glory be to God. Your turnaround is here. Jonia Turner, your turnaround is here. The yeah. Lord says to tell you, He's about to open ways that have been closed up before you. He's about to cause the impossible to be made possible for you. You are a person you believe in God for everybody else but yourself. But in this hour, God is going to cause manifestation to come over you. He's going to cause victory to come over you. And I don't know, but I see papers and I see books and I see studying and I see victory coming. I see advancement. Amen. And God is about to cause advancement to come. Like never before over your life. Glory be to God. Everything the enemy has stepped on, God is about to remove the foot of the enemy and put your feet on the necks of the enemies that have come up against you. Amen. God said he's about to put new people in your circle. New people, new people, new people who will do for you what you've been doing for everybody else. Come on, somebody. Give yes. God praise. Somebody begin to magnify yes. God on this Glory line tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory God. Blessed be the name of the Lord oh, God yes. Almighty. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. Blessed be Jesus. God. He is Thank worthy. God. And Anybody feel the Anastasis power of God flowing on this line tonight? I don't know about you, but I feel the resurrection power. Yes. Begin to speak to that business. Yes. Tell it to come forth. Yes. Wonder Bowman, God bless you. Thank you for being on this line tonight. Yes. Tonya Kelly, eyes have not seen, yes. ears have not heard, neither yes. to enter the hearts of man. Everything that God had prepared for you, God is about to lay out the red carpet before you. Amen. And every this decision that you've made of late, God says to tell you that he's pleased with it and you must move forward. Amen. He's already made the way plain. All you need to do is show up. Glory be to God. For he will bring you before great man. Hallelujah. Your, the favor that is on your life is exponential. And I hear the Lord say within the next 10 days, amen, he's going to begin to deposit in you a new level of power, a new level of the anointing. Glory be to God. And he's about to show you the way that you go. I see you moving from one place place to another. Glory to God. And I see God blessing you. Amen. To be a blessing even to your family. Glory be to God. Yes. And I see the Lord allowing you to change even vehicles. That's how much money is going to yes. be flowing in and through your hands. Glory to yes. God. God is going to do it in your yes. life. He's about it, to God. fix it. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. God bless you, Minister Cheryl Roll. God bless yes. you and your husband and your children on tonight. Yes. Glory be to God. You are blessing every which way you go. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You're called to order, Cheryl Rule. Yes. You're called to see about order, not just in the yes. house of God, but in life itself. Anything out of order irritates you. Amen. But God said he has put that in you. Amen. Because it's a spirit of excellence. And God says everywhere you go, continue to represent him. I don't know, but I see you in China. I see God giving you some connections in China. And I see people bringing, I see businesses springing up. I see business connections and business conference meetings. God is getting ready to do something great in and through you. I, th I don't know if this is ministry connections, but I I see you around a conference table and I see great things coming up out of these meetings and out of these talks. Glory be to God. God is positioning Glory you God. in this season. Amen. Yes. To do great things for his kingdom. Because yes. Your heart is pure before the Lord. And God says until you continue to come before him. Amen. Your consistency. Amen. Has brought a breakthrough over you in the name of Jesus. And I see God aligning scholarships for your children. My God, I see scholarship here and scholarship there and scholarship everywhere. Glory to God. You're yes. going to be able to pick, choose and refuse 
reviews. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Octavia Neely, God bless you tonight. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord say your struggle is over. I hear the Lord say the season of your struggle is over. Hallelujah. The heaviness has been lifted. The dark clouds have been thou removed this night in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God says you're about to even see a difference even in the workplace. Hallelujah. The demonic spirits that have been released against you, they've been dispersed tonight. They've been cast down tonight and they will not be able to rise, said the Lord God Almighty. God said he has you in the palm of his hand and no man is able to pluck you out. God says the very thing that you desire is what he's about to do within the next 21 days. You're about to 20, 21 to 28 days. Glory to God. You're about to see God show up for you. Something that was on hold and delayed. God said you're going to get it in a quick time. It's just going to be like lightning. Glory to yes. God. God said next level. And God said this time, this is it. This time, this is it. Amen. God is about to restore and revive and resuscitate everything that the enemy thought was dead. Glory be to God. Even in the midst of your finances, yes. in the midst of your businesses, yes. there is an idea that God is about to give you. Go with it. God is about to bless it. Amen. And it's not going to be no stress. It's not going to be no headache, but it's going to yield lucrative income in the name of Jesus. God said for all the sacrifices you have made and not even thought about yourself. God said he's about to multiply you. Somebody very close to you, Minister Octavia Neely. Amen. They're about to come into something and they're going to remember you. They're going to remember you and what you have done. And trust me, this, this, this release is going to set you up for life. Come on, somebody. Many who are not friends with you now will want to be friends with you then. Amen. But I know you're wiser than that. Praise God. Father God, we thank you tonight for this opportunity in this time yes. in your presence. Glory be yes. to God. Listen, Pastor Frederick Mitchell. Listen, Pastor Frederick Mitchell. Listen, God says to tell you, move ahead. Expansion of the business vision that he has put in your heart. This is a season. God is going to connect you with someone that was go is going to help you to get the right licensing and all the other paperwork that you need done. Amen. And they're going to line you up to get a fleet of vehicles. Watch God. The faith favor of God is moving over you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God says your faith has made you whole. Blessed yes. be the name of the Lord. Hey, the Lord said to tell you tonight, Pastor Frederick Mitchell, that he is pleased with you and he's pleased with your sacrifice. This is yes. the hour, the time and the season, the fight. The enemy has been fighting you literally fist and tooth and nail. But God says tonight the fight is fixed. Amen. And he's, he's released a victory on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus in Christ of Nazareth. Name Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. There's a time and a purpose for everything ah. and every season under the heaven. God says you're in your season. Jesus. You are in your season. Glory yes. be to God. And there's Glory nothing the enemy God. can do to change it. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. God is about to send you angelic assistance yes. like never before. Glory to God. Yes. And you've been praying over something for your physical, physiological state. And God said he's about to bring it to pass. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. He's about to use you like never before. Even to prophesy in enlarged settings. Glory to God, I'm a shikin and I'm a saya. Reme mesodo, but I will tell you this: protect your gift, amen. Protect your gift in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cover you, man of God, under the blood of Jesus. I cover you tonight. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Some of you desiring to be married tonight. You're desiring to be married. It's gonna happen. 2018 is your year. 2018 is your year. Hallelujah. I just, you know me, when I get so full of God, I just get quiet. Amen. But anyway, I bless God for all of you on the line tonight. I want to thank you for showing up and being with us. Those of you on the line, I'm going to challenge you to sow a seed. Amen. If Bishop will go ahead and, and post the PayPal link. Those of you who don't have PayPal, try to get the PayPal. Amen. Amen. Uh, when you start to talk about giving, people drop off the line. But I'm talking to the people who have a heart to sow, who believe in the anointing that Amen. flowed in this word. Sometimes yeah. it, it takes a seed to move the hand of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Without a seed, there can be no harvest. And I'm challenging you tonight to sow your best seed. I'm not going to limit you to the $30. Amen. If God has put in your heart to sow 300, 3,000, whatever God has put in your heart to sow. Go ahead and sow tonight. Hit that PayPal. Sow into this anointing. Say, woman of God, it ain't paid it yet. We'll find a seed to sow. Amen. If you make a vow to, to pay or to sow, the seed, when you get paid, that's fine. Amen. My daughter, Adina Pollard. Amen. Have not seen you in a long time. Amen. I put, oh God, I put a shield about you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I put a shield about you. You rubbing shoulders with a whole lot of people. Amen. Some strange characters. Praise God. I know you have a lot of friends and stuff like that, but you need to draw back. Some of these people have demonic spirits. Come on, somebody. Yes. They're practicing things that are not of God. Draw back. Come on, somebody. And that, I don't know if this is on the job or whatever. You need to just draw back. Don't open up yourself to all kinds of people. Come on, somebody. Come on. You separated unto the Lord. Consecrate your walk. Come on, somebody. Come on. This is not a season God want to bless you exponentially. Come on, somebody. Come on. Don't be rubbing shoulders with everybody because you pick up spirits. 
You pick up spirits. Ask one of my spiritual daughters. I told her one time, I said, no, 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 don't do this, don't go there. And she didn't listen to me. Next thing I know, they calling me to come break demons out of the house. Every time she laid down to sleep, this demon would come. And I literally was putting marks on her body. Somebody else went to pray and they couldn't get the spirit out of the house. Amen. And then the Lord sent me there with some oil. I anointed that place and called that demon out. Amen. And then she was able to sleep again. Amen. Praise mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. You got to know you can't just rub shoulders with everybody. Even some people as church people because she went to a church. You need to be careful where you go in. Be careful who you're rubbing shoulders with. Praise God. Go back to um, um, Sister Tiffany Corley. That's your stable. Amen. Your stable friend. She's stable. She loves you daily. You stay with her. Drop all the rest of them jokers. They have spirits. Praise God. I just had to jump right in there. Hallelujah. Praise God and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes God give you the right friends and you drift off. No, 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 no. Yes. God give you the right ones. You need to cherish them and appreciate them. Yes. Let me just throw that right in there. Somebody go to the PayPal link. Amen. Um, that we were doing a $30 seed for the 30 day declaration. Bishop, if you could find the declaration, post that. Those of you who have sold, I want you to know your seed has gone to um, a great work. We now have the website finished. We're about to launch that. There is some tweaking that needs to be done, but you'll be able to go on the website and sow your seed directly. Amen. And we also have t-shirts for those who have sown. Just inbox me your addresses. If you're in the Bahamas, you need to send me a U.S. address. A U.S. address. Praise God. And we will be sending you to send that in your size. Amen. And we will be blessing you. Sowing that t-shirt into your life for the seed that you have sown. And it says, Live the Rhema. It has the name of the ministry and our ministry logo on the front. And it is a blessing from us to you for the seeds that you have sown into our lives. So just inbox your addresses as you sow your seed. Amen. Uh, your address. Your size. Amen. And, and we'll be sending them off to you. Praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. I love you. I cover all of you tonight. We're about to pray and cover you before you get off this line. Don't go just yet. Don't go just yet. Tonight, remember, God is, a, uh, is going to revive everything the enemy has caused to die. Amen. Yes. God is well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the power that is at work. And we need to just stay focused on God. Amen. We have to remember who we have with us. His name. His resurrection and the life. Amen, somebody. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Go to the PayPal. Go to the PayPal. Go to the PayPal. Amen. Some of you in the United States, you want to do Walmart to Walmart. My husband will go and collect it. Amen. And we pray over that seed. Every seed that is sown. Amen. People are on this line. When they're ready to make their testimonies known, they can come on here. I'll just click that button and let them begin to testify as to what the Lord has done in their lives. Amen. Also, we're getting ready to launch our 6 a.m. prayer, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. It's called Morning Commanders. And we're calling everybody to come with, join us and command your morning. Yes. Join us for an hour of prayer in the presence of the Lord. Yes. Start your day every day. Amen. We're about to, we can release that flyer, but it's not going to start officially until the 1st of May. The 1st of May is when we're going to start that Morning Commanders. Join us 6 a.m. every morning from Monday to Friday. Amen. Start your day off right in the power, with the power and the presence of the Lord and we will be doing it on Facebook live so everybody will have an opportunity to come on in come on in and let's pray come on in and let's pray as yes. you post your prayer request but by the spirit of the Lord all you need to do is to begin to pray where you are and God will speak to your situation in the name of Jesus I love you too my daughter Adina Pollard you're beautiful on purpose God made you that way amen remember to wait on God because he got the best for you my daughter the best is yet to come the best is yet to come but I see you moving in this place and I see the places like granite granite countertops and beautiful large um uh, what do you call those tiles porcelain tiles in yes. this beautiful place amen and, and and as you walk through it the sound in the place is hollow even though furniture is in it praise god god is getting ready to set your life up in a great capacity amen but you remember you can't you can't leave god behind take god with you amen yes. praise amen. god yes. hallelujah jesus there are many people whose lives have been affected by the anointing that flows through this ministry and it's been affected in a positive way so tonight if you are in a position to be a blessing the, the Bible gives you a promise. God said, I will bless them that bless you. So if you bless us, God will bless you. Amen. Put a seed in the ground. Thank you for giving into this ministry. And we're also going to be um, launching a work in the North Carolina area, praise God, um, into the New Jersey area as well, praise God. And we will be uh, moving about carrying the word and ministering life to God's people. And so uh, we want you to know without a shadow of a doubt, amen, that God is about to move mountains 
mountains on your behalf and bring you into the place of true victory as only his right hand and holy arm can give. Amen. We can't allow the enemy to stop you where you are. We got to continue to press. Push back somebody. Push Amen. back. Amen. And I encourage you tonight, continue to love somebody. If you're on this line tonight, you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Come on, say this quick prayer with us. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask you to come into my heart. I believe that Jesus Christ came, that he died, that he rose again just for me. I renounce sin and everything of the world. I ask God that you fill me with your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that prayer with us, you've been translated, amen, into the kingdom of God's dear son. Amen. You're now saved. Amen. And so now we got to work on getting you sanctified. Get into a Bible-based believing church and be taught the true and living word of God. Let it come alive in you. Revelated rhema will change your life. It's changed my life. Praise God. The word is the only thing that lasts forever. Amen. John 1 and 1 says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word, the word was God. God. The word is power. Yes. And so let's continue to live the word. Let's continue yes. to love one another. God is love. They will know that you are a believer by your love. Who you loving today? Who did you show some love to today? It's not yet too late wherever you are in the world. Show the people you love how much you love them. You never know how how long you're going to have them with you. Amen. Yet tomorrow was promised to no man. Mm -hmm. Let's begin to love for real. Amen. Let, let's not love when just people around us love when nobody's looking. That's when it counts most. Praise God. I love all you in them. Remember to go to that PayPal. So we'll see tonight and let the Lord bring the release over your life that only he can give, that only he can bring. He is God. Know that I love you. I cover you. And I thank God for all of you tonight. I thank God for all of you. Bishop, is there anything you want to come on and just say no. to the people tonight? No. You want to say good night? No. Just say hi. Hey, God bless everyone. What a word. What a word. What a word. Hallelujah. Lazarus, come forth. Hey. Jesus. Jesus. All my children, come forth. Hey. Amen. In Amen. the name of Jesus. And I believe they're watching tonight. And I yes. want to say hello to all my babies. Amen. To, to Joshua, to Lil Brian, yes. to Megan and Mariah, to Quincy, to Precious, to Michael and to Malcolm. I cover all of y'all under the blood tonight. Amen. That's the Graham family. Amen. And we're getting ready to do something as a family. Amen. And I bless God for all of my husband's wonderful children. They're all beautiful and they're all a blessing to us. Amen. They are wonderful. And I thank God for them. We are a big family. I, I grew up as an only child, but what God gave me at the end of the day, he gave me love in a family that was so big. You can't even count the people. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing what God will do. Amen. Yes, thank God for my beautiful mother-in-law, who's also a mother to me. And I thank God for you, Pastor Mary Mitchell. I love you dearly. And I am praying on your prayer request. You better believe that. Amen. She is a one precious darling woman. Amen. Powerful woman of God in the spirit. When you connect with her, you feel God. I thank God for you, mighty woman of Zion. We will continue to lift you up on this side until we're back on that side. Amen. We will continue to do the work of an evangelist. While it is yet day, we will work for a night coming when no man can work. Amen. I know y'all don't want to get off the line because I don't want to leave y'all either. Amen. <laughs> I want to stay right here with y'all all night. Amen. We usually come on here for an hour. It's almost been two, but we bless God for this moment in time. Yes. Continue to love. Continue to love. Yes. Continue to love. Amen. Continue yes. to love. Stay faithful God to the Lord. Yes. yes. Stay faithful to God. Yes. Stay faithful to the Lord. Amen. Yes. That's God the rewards the faithful doer. Yes. That's the yes. word. Yes. God rewards the faithful doer. Yes. I look forward to hearing, oh God, Minister Lanny Russell, my good cousin from Cat Island, Bahamas. Amen. Love you, woman of God. Love you, woman of God. Let me see if I can bring you on the camera to say hello. Your side. But if you can, come on and just say hello. Amen, woman of God. I bless God for you tonight. Have not seen you in a long time, but I love you. That's my good cousin. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you. God. Okay, we had it for a minute. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, whatever you're doing, I know you're probably in the kitchen cooking. Amen. <laughs> I remember I stood in her wedding. It was a wonderful time. But I love all of you. Oh, my God, brother Kevin L. Higgins. I love you, man of God. I cover you under the blood. I speak blessings over your business. I speak blessings over your business. Expansion of territory. Amen. This is your season. God is going to break up something great in your life. Amen. People don't understand the way you love. They don't want to understand the way you move. But God is getting ready to move mightily in your life, Kevin. God is getting ready to fix some things for you and give you the desires of your heart. People want you to do what they want you to do the way they want you to do it. But you know what? Move at your pace. Don't let anybody pressure you. 
Amen. You make the decision by how you're led by the spirit of God. Amen. And you continue to commune with the father, even as you drive it and you know, you go into those deep places in your thoughts. Amen. God is in your thoughts. He's in your thoughts and he hears the very deep and intricate things. Amen. Even some things you're desiring to do. God is about to do it over your life. Watch God move. And I see another baby coming. Praise oh, God. Man. I see a baby. I see a little boy. I see God blessing you with a son in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I see your son. Amen. Well, I received that for me too. I prophesy a baby. Don't say nothing, Bishop. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Pray with me, Megan. Megan, you come in agreement with me. Hello. In the name of Jesus. We love you all. We cover you tonight. Have a wonderful time in, um, in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Wherever you're going to go tonight, be safe. We break and bind every plan of the enemy. We cancel backlash, retaliation, scandal, and, dis and, and disgrace. disgrace. Amen. Jesus, help us. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you talk about babies, want to run away. <laughs> Amen. But he'll he be all right. God bless all of you and them. We love you.